Two laps to go. Matt Kenseth with a 10 second lead. This is the best battle on the racetrack. It's for seventh, seventh place. There he goes. He's around Sterling and he's going to gas it up. Outside, outside. Jimmy's going to give him enough room to go down the outside, down that back straightaway, and that Dodge is pumping down that straightaway. And, and Sterling couldn't stay with him. The door was open, but Sterling couldn't capitalize. I mean, he's been able to run that car on the high side, on the Clear low side. High. And we're one on the bail lap. Out. One to go. And he's got one more car up here he might be able to get. It's not that one, by the way, because no. nobody. This is what you call a Sunday afternoon drive for that 17 car. Matt Kenseth comes off turn number four and scores his seventh career Winston Cup victory. It was key to be out front, you know. Um, seemed like the forwards had trouble keeping up behind, but when we got out front, we could set sail. So it was a um, pretty excited. <laughs> expect to win here, but many of you have been with me from the beginning, fighting a good fight in both hard times and good times. This is your championship. I think this is the most important championship in all of motorsports. We are sitting up here tonight because of you guys. Enjoy it and take a good look around you because we need to come back and do this again. This will be huge. The world's fastest half mile. Everybody wants a ticket to Bristol and here's why. A two lap shootout for the win in the Sharpie 500. up there. I know Kenseth didn't want to see this, but Carl gets out of the way. Their teammates, 17 to 99. White flag, last lap at Bristol. Half a mile to go. Boy, Burton threw it in there hard, didn't he? He's trying as hard as he possibly can to catch that 17 car, but he's not going to be able to do it. He's not. Matt Kenseth wins at Bristol. A big celebration taking place, a big win. He survived a close one. I'll tell you what, Bill, I think you said it in Michigan, and you're right. These guys, everybody's going to have to race the 17 yeah. car for the championship yeah. in the last 10 races. These guys are really on a roll right now. If you think that driver in that 17 is determined, that crew chief, Robbie Reiser, is just as determined. They were racing rivals. We've talked about it before. Racing rivals in Wisconsin. When Robbie needed a driver to replace a his driver in the Bush series, he went and called Matt Kenseth. Kenseth brought his helmet and his heart, climbed into Robbie's cars. And it's finally, he gets up underneath Jeff Gordon. 10 car, oh, and they're rubbing on each other. Because Jeff's gonna lose two spots if he isn't careful, not only to the 10, but the 11 as well, Hamlet. Might lose more if they wreck, working the last lap at Bristol. Wow, that was a good move on Scott Rick's part. Did a really good job there. Here he goes. Matt Kenseth wins the Sharpie 500. His fourth win of the season, his second consecutive win in the night race at Bristol. And the last guy to do that was Dale Earnhardt. The man that started back in 38th position. This is a backup car, but it's a car that's been the victory lane here during Speed Weeks. Won the Budweiser shootout with that very car. Elliot Sadler is challenged for the lead by Matt Kenseth and Kevin Harvick. I believe these guys put a big old clock on their dash, and they wind her up, and it's supposed to, it's supposed to hit midnight about the end of the race. Now, if Matt oh, Kenseth boy. can bring them all the way back around and lead a lap. Oh, oh here we go. There he goes. Almirola goes off the nose of Casey Kane. Hang on to her, brother. Your break. Your break there. The race has officially been declared final. It is over. So, Matt Kenseth, okay, Jack well, right. Roush, there is your They're Daytona winner. 500 winner in the 51st running of the Great American Race, the 2009 champ. Oh, my goodness. It's... Uh... <laughs> It's going to be really wet out here. It's probably going to cry like a baby, but uh, just really need to thank my team. But, uh, man, I don't know. Winning the Daytona 500 is definitely a G moment. It's just an unbelievable feeling. They're looking for the white flag this time. Once we get into this lap, if anything should happen down in turns one or two or three and four, it's over. Three-car breakaway. Junior tucked up tight under the bumper of Biffle. Kenseth leads to turn one. Final lap. Denny Hamlin in the 11s there with no one to push him. Actually, he might actually be hurting those two cars in front of him if he gets back too far. But here we go. 
If it's going to happen, it's going to happen pretty quick. We've seen where the timing of where you do it is so critical. I, I, those two cars, the 16 and the 88, should be able to get by B Kenseth if Biffle elects to take the chance. Ford, Ford, Chevrolet off the final corner. Matt Kenseth trying to win it for the second time. Here comes Junior to the outside. Side by side with Kenseth. He runs out of time. Matt Kenseth wins the Daytona 500. Came through. It's okay now. <laughs> Seeing the way Matt Kenseth won on Thursday. Boy, that made him my pick for a last lap dash tonight. And he didn't disappoint any of his fans this evening. Well, I think the other thing that happened on Thursday was when Greg Biffle bailed on him and tried to block him. And I think they probably had a heart to heart after that qualifying race. And I think that's one reason why Biffle hung with him the way he did. You know, before Matt Kenseth turned 16 years old, he told his dad, Roy, he said, let's buy a race car. You drive it. I'll work on it. When I turn 16, I want to drive it. He won his third time out. Jimmy Fennig and the Roush Fenway crew have plenty to celebrate. If this holds out for another two laps, they're going to have won two of these races in the chase. And I know for some of the guys inside Roush Fenway Racing, particularly Robbie Weiser, it really gets under their skin when people talk about the lame duck and would they continue to give Matt their all. Well, Matt's a, been a favorite over there. He, he's a really good people person. He cares about the organization, and he's just a tremendous competitor, and you can see that happening. And the white flag is up. We're in the last lap today at Kansas. A race that's featured 14 cautions. A very tough toll on car and driver many many rallies on the day including this 17 from as far as 24th in the pack final quarters here for Matt checkered flag is our third win of the season second of the chase Matt Kenseth wins at Kansas And really want to thank Jack Roush, Robbie Reiser, Mark Martin. Without them guys, I would have never been at, at Roush Fenway Racing. And uh, thanks to Zesperant, um, Fifth Third, Ford, uh, Valve and Gatorade Citizen, all our sponsors, and also a big thank you, Doug Yates and Engine Guys. Uh, you know, without all that power on restarts and to clear them guys, uh, it would have made my job a lot harder. Kane with a look, but lines up. Now Matt seems to be better on this end. Casey runs in here. He can't get down low and turns three and four. Kind of helps Matt get off of this corner with a head of steam. Again, we got lap cars up here. He's going to get a little. Nice drive, but going to get a little pull off the case. Carl Edwards is taking. Carl Edwards has taken fifth from Jimmy Johnson. As here we go on the last lap, three cars ahead. The first of which is Casey Mears, and they'll Play pitch two, Mears buddy. before the start. Down, finish down, 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 down. I got him, Matt. I got him, buddy. Bring it to the line here. Clear by three. Can you believe you're driving, holding off Casey Kane, and you're telling the spotter what you need? Kane looks to the inside. Light the candles. Happy birthday, Matt Kinsley. Oh, it's a huge win. Huge. Thank you, Joe. Man, thank you, everybody. Man, thanks for picking up the stop, man. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for putting me here. Thanks, guys. White flag in the air. He's got one more shot here at Denny Hamlin. White flag for Kenseth. A little bit of traffic in front of second place. Clear sailing for our leader. He is just up here in a long gone cruising to victory. And Gordon has backed off a bit from Hamlin who catches the traffic. Yeah, I think Gordon really tried real hard in uh, turns one and two and lost a lot of time. Don't think he's going to be able to get Denny Hamlin in the 11. Out of turn four from Wisconsin, Matt Kenseth scores his 27th Sprint Cup Series win. And Thames Darlington with Denny Hamlin second, Jeff Gordon third, Jimmy Johnson and Kevin Harvick the top five. Kyle Busch oh, led 265 laps and finishes sixth. Not a bad night for a substitute crew chief. I can't believe that. Gosh, you guys are good. Thanks, guys. Wish Chase was here with us, too. Good job, guys. A 1-2 finish for Coach Gibbs. 
what that bunch and that team has been through over the last few weeks after that penalty at Kansas. And to be here without their crew chief, Jason Ratcliffe, this has to be so fulfilling for this group. Like I said, Larry, sometimes adversity makes you stronger. And I think this team is stretching his lead out eight tenths of a second, nine tenths of a second between himself and Chase Elliott. Martin Shrek Jr., one of his best runs at Phoenix. He's running in the top five, currently third. His teammate Eric Jones running fourth. Kevin Harvick in the top five as well. Just two to go. Two more times around. Matt Kenseth has won before at Phoenix, but it was 15 years ago, 2002, the last time that Kenseth has won at Phoenix. He's been winless in 2017. And now, with a lap to go at Phoenix, the white flag goes in the air. One more time around. Matt Kenseth eliminated from the playoffs on a technicality. Had too many men over the wall when they were trying to fix the car. Now, trying to get that win in 2017. The 45-year-old comes out of turn number four. Kenseth's going to win at Phoenix. <laughs> 39 now. The career win record for Matt Kenseth. That we've documented. And on top of the car he goes. <laughs> Just got one race left. Um, everybody dreams of going out a winner, so... Uh, you know, we won today. Nobody can take that one away from us. It's a heck of a race to chase there. Uh, golly, just thanks. Uh, DeWalt, Circle K, Toyota, all our, uh, all our sponsors, and uh, JJR for a great five years. It's been uh, quite the journey here the last 20, and thank you, fans. I appreciate it.